Welcome to the Informed Woman magazine, where science meets clarity and knowledge becomes strength. I'm William Bologna. Let's make women's health understandable together. What if one hormone you occasionally hear of is quietly driving PCOS? Polycystic ovary syndrome affects up to one in eight women worldwide and is the leading cause of infertility. PCOS isn't just about missed periods. It's linked to insulin resistance, diabetes, heart disease, and pregnancy complications like preeclampsia. And it often runs in families. Up to 70% of daughters of women with PCOS may develop it too. Anti-malarian hormone, or AMH, is usually known as a fertility marker. But in PCOS, AMH levels are unusually high. Excess AMH doesn't just reflect follicle number. It actively blocks ovulation by reducing the ovary's response to FSH and disrupting follicle selection. AMH may also stimulate the brain to release more LH, driving androgen excess and reinforcing the PCOS cycle. Researchers asked a radical question, what happens if you block AMH's activity itself? Using a PCOS-like animal model with high AMH and disrupted cycles, they tested an AMH-blocking antibody. After repeated treatment, over 80% of previously inovulatory animals ovulated. Testosterone and insulin levels dropped toward normal. The effect was temporary, but the message was powerful. AMH isn't just a marker, it's a driver of PCOS biology. Today's PCOS treatments manage symptoms. Targeting AMH could one day address the hormonal root of the condition itself. This research is early and not yet a treatment, but it signals a shift from coping with PCOS to truly understanding it. Thanks for watching another video by the Informed Woman magazine. Please feel free to comment and ask questions. Subscribe for more science-driven medical insights.